This is using a Windows PC with NVDA. 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 Hey, hey guys, what is up? The Queen here back at you with another video and I know it's been a long time coming. I haven't posted in a long while, but I have a wonderful series here for you guys. Okay, so as the title suggests, this series I will be teaching you guys how to use a Windows PC with the NVDA screen reader. Non-visual desktop access, aka NVDA, is a free program, a free software in which blind or visually impaired persons can use to be able to access the different function of the Windows PC. It gives them the accessibility to be able to use a Windows PC just like any other person that is seeing. Isn't that awesome? Before you guys can actually get to start this tutorial though, you guys would need to have NVDA on your computer. If you don't have NVDA, you can go to nvaccess.org and navigate to the download button, the download link actually, and you will be able to download the program for free and you'll set it up and you'll be ready for this tutorial. I will be placing a link to that website down in the description below so you can go down there to access the link and download NVDA. Okay, so this is an introduction to the series. So in this series, what I'll be teaching you guys is the basic navigation around the Windows PC in NVDA. And you know, blind and visually impaired persons, we can't use the mouse. That's why as soon as you get blind or visually impaired, you stop using the computer because you realize you can't see with the cursor and the different stuff on the screen to be able to click with the mouse and all that stuff. What NVDA does is that you see everything that you are selected on or you are hovering on, it announces it so you will know actually where you are on the computer. So it announces everything to you, every action that you do, everything that is processing, it announces all of that to you so you know actually what you're doing on the computer so you don't have to be seeing what you are doing. So what NVIDIA uses though is not the mouse, it uses the keyboard to be able to navigate around the computer because what we can do is feel for the different keys on the keyboard to be able to navigate and do whatever we're doing. So you know that that means that you need to know your keyboard. So in this series I'll be teaching you guys how to type and to be able to locate the different keys on your keyboard and also what each key can be used to do. In this tutorial, you guys will also be learning how to navigate the different windows of the PC and you'll also be learning how to open different programs and probably going into your settings and I don't know, probably um, connecting to Wi-Fi or to start up your computer and also how to shut down your computer. You'll also be learning how to use the file explorer, so how to get into the file explorer, um, create some folders, copy files, delete files, open a, a document, and different cool stuff like that. Lastly, in this series, you guys will be learning how to go into your NVDA settings actually and change the language of NVDA. So if you speak a different language like Spanish or so, you can change it from English to that different language. You can do other cool preferences like changing the voice um, of the person who is speaking to you, changing the rate at which it speaks so you can make it talk faster or talk slower and other cool different options you can also be able to put on add-ons and other cool stuff like that so basically guys that is the introduction to using a windows pc with nvda i hope you guys will stay tuned for the rest of the series it will be an awesome series and i hope it will be beneficial to you guys to be able to help you to get on back on your computer and get on doing the stuff that you love to do i want to say a big shout out to my teacher at the jamaica society for the blind who taught me all the fundamental stuff about nvda i will post a link down in the description to her website in which you can access all the basic keystrokes which will be helpful to you in this tutorial 
I will also be posting a link to the Jamaica Society for the Blind YouTube channel down below in which you can check them out for other accessibility tech tips, especially for your smartphones, for your iPhones, Android, and other programs on the computer, which will be accessible to you so once again guys thank you for watching and i hope you will stay tuned throughout the rest of this series to see the wonderful stuff that you can be able to do with nvda being blind doesn't limit you you guys you have this software use it to your advantage and show everyone out there that being blind does not limit you we can still do as much or even more than what persons that are seeing can do so be sure to like subscribe and turn on that notification bell to know when i'll post the next video i'll see you guys later